Hey guys, and welcome to Petroped. Now behind me is the Jeep Avenger, the first all electric Jeep. So welcome to this first look at the brand new Jeep Avenger. First up for me, I'm a big Jeep fan. I've done quite a few things in the past with Jeep. I've been up to Camp Jeep. I've driven lots of the vehicles off-road. And as a brand, they have this incredible following. But this, this is the first all-electric Jeep. It's got all of the family traits that you would want though. Even though it's an electric vehicle, it doesn't really need a radiator grill. But I love the fact that they've stayed true to their heritage and have that seven element grill that we first saw way back on the Willis Jeep. There's just a little nod to the fact it's electrified with a little blue E just here. But there are some really nicely hidden Easter eggs to Jeep heritage, which I absolutely love. First of them is just down here. Now you might look at that and wonder what it is, but that is the, the front end of a Willis Jeep with the two lamps and the, the um, seven element grill. There's one of those on each wheel and then other things you walk around this car and you just start to spot things some of which there's a on one of the roof rails at the top there's what looks like a little imperfection in the plastic work but it's a little ladybird and then on the front windscreen in the blacks around here there's a little silhouette of someone with a telescope and in the far left hand corner there are some stars and that's a nod to the designer sun apparently i love little things like that I'm going to take you for a walk around the car. Sadly, we can't drive the car today, but let me tell you about all of the major elements in it. First up from the front, I really do like the front of the car. It's got a really uh, very striking LEDs and so on. We'll, we'll turn these headlights on in a moment so you can have a look at them. Um, and then the black strip at the bottom here will follow that all the way around the car. And it's there not just for aesthetics, it has a purpose as well. The car I've got here is a launch edition car. The color is called Sun. All of the different colors in the Jeep range are all named after elements, by the way, but it's a very striking color. And I love the contrast between the black roof, the color elements of the car, and then that black trim strip that comes all the way around. If we wander around the car, this is basically there to help protect the car from those little annoying bumps and scuffs. And actually all the way around, you've got right down the bottom on the sills. And if you open the door, you've actually got this is the thing that's going to hit the wall first. So if you are in a car park or in an urban environment and you open the door, um, you're going to dink a little bit of plastic. It will save you on your repair bills. From the side, probably while I'm sat here, this is still a Jeep. It still has to have that off-road 4x4 heritage. So the approach and departure angle and the breakover angle give this car the abilities to go off-road. It's got a, a good amount of ride height, I guess there's a question as to how many of these are actually going to be taken off-road. Let's talk a little bit about drivetrain. So full electric vehicle, it's got a motor on the front axle, so it is front wheel drive only. It has a 54 kilowatt hour battery, and that's good enough for a WLTP range of 240 miles. And that range improves in urban driving to beyond 300 miles. Now, clearly I'd like to get my hands on one myself and put those numbers to the test, but they sound pretty good to me. Um, if we start to wander around the back a little bit more, the styling that, that starts to really strike for me at the back is, is the contrast black roof and colour. You've got the opening to the side door just up here. It's just a really stylish looking thing. And I think with the, with the black strip running around the bottom, it just makes the car look quite low and quite sleek um, and really purposeful. And then you come around here and I absolutely love these smoked out lenses for the rear tail lights and they've got the X design there. Boot wise, self-opening boot. You can do it with your foot as well if you like. And it's a good size boot in here. I like things like the fact that there's a, a false floor, which is where you want to put your charge cables. One of the big things about electric vehicles is you really want to carry a set of cables with you in case you go to a charger that doesn't have a built-in integrated cable. While we're talking about charge cables, let's talk about charging. So it has a 400 volt system. It can do DC charging up to 100 kilowatts, which means you can get a 20 to 80% charge in about 24 minutes. And clearly, if you want to plug in at home on an AC wall box, um, you're going to have easily the ability to charge overnight, which makes this car really, really usable. 
Let me jump on the inside and see what the back seat passenger room is like. I do like that tailgate. So, space in the back. Bearing in mind, this seat is set for me. Six foot three, 34 inch inside leg. It's not massive space in here if you've got the seat all the way back. Although interestingly, the passenger seat is forward a little bit more and there is a bit more space, but it's well trimmed and well equipped in here. Now, interestingly, this launch edition vehicle doesn't have a panoramic roof. That will be coming in other editions. For me, I'm always a fan of just the way that a pan roof opens up the car and makes it feel a little bit less dark and gloomy. Then finally, the seats. I think they look fantastic. They feel really comfortable, but they're trimmed so well. And I love this central golden panel. But if you think that looks nice, let's jump in the front because some of the touches in there really are very special. I've clearly just got to extricate myself out of the car though. That technique seems to work quite well. Oh, oh yeah. I really like it in here. There's lots of cool things to talk about. And I think the first thing that grabs you when you get in the car is the main central part of the dash in the body color. There are a couple of things to mention with that though. This is a launch edition car and it happens to be in sun, the kind of frozen yellow color. And that matches this dash perfectly. But in all the other launch edition cars, you're still gonna get the yellow dash, which I think is a shame if that had been body color. I think that would have been really cool. The other thing to mention, as you get in, there's a, like a, a lit LED strip on either side of the dash, and that's not gonna be available in the UK. It's only available on left-hand drive cars for some bizarre reason. In terms of um, uh, sort of driving position, I just kind of fire the car up and just um, bring it to life, as it were, um, and turn off all the bings and the bongs. Um, really nice driving position you've got that iconic jeep steering wheel two ten and a half inch monitors the front one in front of you the kind of instrument binnacle as i always call it really nicely laid out and then you've got a main touchscreen interface just here it supports all the things you would want wireless apple carplay and wireless android auto but you do have some real buttons all of your climate control um, they are real buttons you've got the drive modes just here um, sort of drive neutral and reverse and then one of the features i really like you've got this cover but it's just attached magnetically it actually comes off and then you can fold it up and just put it away and that opens up this space in here where you can store there's loads and loads of storage the storage bins are massive there's a huge amount of storage in this central bin there's a, you could easily get a couple of water bottles and that if you think about the sort of jeep adventure heritage you want to go out for a drive you want to take loads and loads of stuff with you so you've got loads of space in the boot for storage and loads of space in here but i really really like this because you could if you left valuables in there and you needed to leave the car you can basically just clip this back on it just attaches magnetically and it looks really really smart so yeah all in all it's a really very very interesting car these seats they kind of follow on from the rear they've got this lovely golden stitching with the jeep embossed on the side it just feels like a really nice premium quality place. I'll be very intrigued to see how it drives. It's got 156 horsepower and 260 Newton meters. So that seems like enough punch. It seems like a balance between enough power and performance that will also give you the range. The other thing is this is still a Jeep. I've got all of the normal Jeep off-road modes. So if I was inclined to take it mud plugging, then I can give that a good go. And I remember in the past, I've taken a Jeep Compass, which is a pretty road focused Jeep off-road and it performed absolutely brilliantly. So I've no doubt that this car, if you did want to get it muddy and dirty, will do the job. But all in all, my first impressions, having not seen anything other than pictures to finally see it in the flesh, it's a really interesting car. I think it's got striking looks on the outside. Um, it's got that Jeep heritage. I love the grill um, and I love that nod back to Jeeps of old. But for me, the interior is fresh and modern. I'd love that, um, that dash. I'd like it to be in a body color uh, if you're gonna choose any of the other options. Although I can imagine there's gonna be quite a lot of these gold cars around. Hopefully I'll be talking to the guys from Jeep and as soon as there are available demonstrators, I'll get one of these out on the road and we can take it for a drive and get it muddy. But for now, 
I'm going to say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petrobed for plenty more content to come. And I'll see you on the next film, guys. You take care. Drive safe.